Was geht ab, Alien Savages, and welcome to another episode. Here, yeah. I got the lighter, so it's my turn again for the sharing round. Yep, showing up, another day. It's always sharing, no chronological order, just what I'm feeling in the moment, focusing on my feelings, not, get, not getting caught up in stories. And <laughs> this is <laughs> hard for me <laughs> because my Virgo self, I love to structure things and um, go through it chronologically. And this is the double challenge because it's hard for me to not do that and share about my feelings. But then this is also more ungrounding. And right now I need to crown. So I actually, I told you in the last one, I established a lot of structure again, which is really healthy for me. I let go of too much structure and got a bit too, way too lost in the flow. I was pretending I'm Bashar, <laughs> like a Sasani, uh, a alien, higher dimensional being, whatever you want to call it. And I'm not. I'm a human being in a human body. Who am I kidding? So uh, how Bashar talks about is maybe where we're shifting, but it's not where we're at right now. So I built this box my entire life, 31 years, where I was disassociating from my emotions and well, 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 addicted to raising my vibration and now crashing hard. I mean, also, what a creative timeline I have for being 31 years in a box. I, I just call it a box, metaphorically speaking, where I, like, <laughs> wasn't a human. <laughs> Not feeling. Disassociating. So, yeah. This is, like, also know what's haunting me, that... The, the sober truth of reality to face all my emotions that have been accumulated, that haven't been processed. Like I barely processed the breakup with Brittany. <laughs> like th my entire family box, I, I, I just opened and it's overwhelming. And many of my friends that I let down so yeah let's take a deep breath fully exhale <sighs> this was the first night I slept well I got um, sleeping medication Valium or whatever it's called I took one pill and I slept also in the collective. Brittany, she, she left for a trip. So it's just a friend of hers living there. And I'm so grateful that I could sleep there because here in, in this place where I'm sitting, uh, I don't know if you believe in aliens and also dark entities, but let me tell you, there's a lot of activity in this place. And let's just say not just the good beings, not at all. And I opened a box, or I went out of a bo uh, whatever, there's like endless boxes, the boxes never stop. <laughs> what I meant earlier, metaphorically, that I am now, that we're now in the same box. I'm, I'm reachable. Hey, I'm a fellow human being. My name is Ferdi. What's your name? But yeah, I wasn't ready to sleep here. I was afraid, and I want to honor fear that I was afraid, so I'm so happy that Anna let me sleep in the collective. And I took a sleep pill and I actually quit sleep. Just like normal dreams, not being my higher self and consciously creating my dreams. No, I created the illusion of separation again. You do that, but you're me, I know, but I don't want to be you consciously. So fuck you, do your job, and I <laughs> disconnect from you. <laughs> So I could just sleep. <laughs> and I did. I did really well. Like solid nine hours. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. 
Yeah, thanks to Brittany. And she, she left for a trip. She's going in the north of Thailand, one of her favorite places in the whole world for like 10 days. And it's really healthy that she goes for her and for me because another addiction of mine is Britney Bond. I'm fucking addicted to her so much. I fucking love her. And it's like I love her so much that I just like wanted to stay with her together. And it was great in the beginning. But then we needed to grow individually and like not live together, all these things. But we were just holding on and because like I would say we're both addicted to each other. But I, I talk about me, I'm fucking addicted to her. So the boat was sinking and I was like, no, I need to like stay here. But no, I need to, I need to crow up, crow in different ways. And I'm happy she's leaving. So I cannot, I cannot see her because now the last days I had the ultimate excuse. I'm losing my mind. I fucking need help. So of course she showed up for me. And of course it felt amazing. And of course then we don't want to stop. And of course then we go back to the old patterns. <laughs> Shoutouts to her because she then is like, nope. <laughs> yeah, it's sometimes hard to speak to a like really powerful addict because he's really good in convincing people. <laughs> but if it's an addiction, <laughs> it's not healthy. <laughs> <clears throat> I, I like that my humor is back. I miss that. I cried so much again the last day. So much. I went to a session with my favorite healer. I just call her a healer or my guide in the flesh. I was really calling in a guide in the flesh. A, a, a human. I'm tired of having all my spirit guides helping me all the time so clearly. What's the point in being here? I want someone in the flesh. So her, I've actually gone through her, also Brittany, we go through her every week for like a couple months in the past, but then I, I stopped. And now I saw her again yesterday. And oh my God, this was the first time after like, what is it, like four or five days I took ayahuasca that I felt safe in my body. And now I fully see her. I don't name her name. I don't think she wants to be named. Uh, so let's just call her... Um, I don't know. My, 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 my healer. And now I actually see her. Mm, and this makes me feel so good because I'm not alone. No. She's been there for a long time. And she could really comfort me. She's like, Fairy, when you wake up like that, versus like really alone, it's this void, it's this cave. But good news, you don't need to stay there. <laughs> Some people, they do stay there. And it's like, oh, why would they stay there? But you don't need to. You can just laugh about it. And it comes back and it's there and it's just like, so what? And we can, we can also go in there together because that's like the thing that the only thing that kind of matters like the connection but you don't need to stay there <laughs> no <laughs> it's great being here it's like a whole new reality all of a sudden i see world like i'm i'm, I'm a newborn everything is now oh wow oh wow i'm actually here now i wasn't i wasn't fully here before Oh, wow, this is how it's feeling to have a body. <laughs> oh, wow, this is how it feels to feel emotions. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fuck. Interesting. Okay, let's listen to music. Let's go on a walk with my dog. Oh, my God, my dog Afro. If you're like going through something that I'm going through, animals help so much. I'm so happy I can see my babies again. And yesterday I picked up Afro. I was like, Afro bear, come here. And she loves actually being here. And I live right at the beach. So we were going for a beach walk and just her and I as the pack. And we're just like discovering the world. Like, look, Afro, there's another dog. <gasps> Afro's like, another dog? Let's smell his butthole. Hmm, interesting. 
I'm like, Avro, let's run. Avro's like, run? I run. <laughs> But yeah, Avro, I consider not just a dog. Like, she's also one of my teachers. Oh, my God. I'm happy that I'm forgetting more and more because, like, the last days, I could not not see it all from my higher point of view. Whoa! So I, like, see how much Afro is actually teaching me. And now I learn to fucking trust Afro. Like, yesterday, she wasn't coming. And I'm like, ah, oh, I already have a feeling why she's not coming. And then it was exactly why she wasn't coming. Is uh, yeah. And also, animals, they really are a mirror for us. They reflect us. Like... There was another dog, <laughs> and I was like with Brittany, we were like eating food, and I was like pretending my ego comes back out, but pretending like it was back out. And then Afro attacked the other dog, and I was like, oh shit, Ferdy, you can like, even if you make fun of it, it's still there, you know? Like, it's cr like it, it, there's a certain kind of humor where you're just hiding that you're actually dead. And this is what I'm like really guilty of, because then I could cover it, but like, it's my humor. No. Humor is actually like humor. You can tell the difference when you actually don't mean it. I guess you always mean it a little bit. <laughs> <coughs> Let's take another deep breath. So back to my session with my healer. Let's call her my elder. She's already a, a little older, which is amazing. So she's like, oh, like, that's my king, mature woman in their power. Is like meeting God in the flesh in a beautiful shell. So yeah, she like really helped me. She was like, oh, okay, I get it. You're close to becoming a maniac. And then she gave me like many supplements. And I was like, I'm gonna pay you for it. She's like, Ferdi, just also fucking learn to receive. I'm like, I'm having a hard time receiving from people that I actually love. Because I'm so I'm such a giver and I can give so much. So usually when people give me something, it's I give more than they give me, so it's okay. But if people then start giving me more than I give them, I'm like, ah. I don't know. Do I deserve that? Am I worthy? Because I'm just Ferdi. Like, this is what I have to face now. I'm just Ferdi. I'm not like, I was trying so hard to, like, I'm this. Here, I impress you. I channel, channel, channel. Wow. See me, see me. And yeah, many of you see me, but th th you actually love this Ferdi. You, you don't love the pretending. And then it comes with this ego trying to, like, show you how powerful I am. Wow. No, you, you're like cringing out, but many of you text me, yeah, you fucking annoyed me so much, but I kept following you because there was something. Because there are periods, like there were always periods over my social media career where I was so raw and authentic. And this is where I like, many of you like fall in love with me. In a way, like you see me. And you know that this guy is inside of me. And that's just fairly, that's just me. And now I really need you to hold me accountable that I stay that. That I stay fairly. <clears throat> so then, uh, I really needed a healing session, so she laid me down. I was like really trippy. Like the cat was coming and was like freaking out and because they had the cats also absorb some of our energy. But then she said to the cat, like, stop, stop, we get it, like, I, he's getting help now, I take over. So she, Because until this point, I didn't feel safe in my body. I was losing it. I was on the edge. And I'm just recovering. I'm just recovering. And it's, it's, I want to pretend like, hey, I'm back, everything is perfect, oh my god. But no, I'm lying to myself. The reality is like, I'm coming back and it's a long journey ahead. And it scares me. It scares me a lot actually. 
because now I'm I'm here, and I don't know if I I I can escape again because now whatever is also coming, I I I I feel like I have to face it now, and it's like this world is like a lot. Uh, let's take another deep breath. Fully exhale. <sighs> oh. I think I need a punching bag. <laughs> they replaced the punching bag in Xantiva with a butterfly machine. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, but I think there's still a punching bag. There's like some people have like an inside gym and an outside gym. It's all really open, connected to nature. I love it. But in the inside gym, there was a punching bag and now they put a butterfly machine there. I'm like, what the? F <laughs> First, the bodybuilding video was like, this is amazing for my rare delts. And now I'm like, I need more punching bags. <laughs> <coughs> So then she was laying me down and started the healing session and just like she's yeah the m the most powerful healer I know in the flesh. I really trust her and I I commit to her now. I, I see her now. I see her now spiritually and I will see her now physically. Like I'm committed to showing up. I go to her now twice per week for a while. She's saying like this is gonna take like a while. Like she's saying like three weeks to like come back back and then like 90 days to like really like be that. And it's like really hard for me to accept because I'm like, no, no, everything is in the now. You can just shift it really fast. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Bypass. Ha! I'm here. I'm not, but I'm pretending. <laughs> I'm so alone. Fuck. Mm. Oh. So you, let's just like let's just you know hold each other accountable to fucking show up. I want to put on a shirt. Let's take a deep breath. Oh yeah, this feels better. Oh my god, why am I naked all the time? I mean, it's great, but like right now, I'm already so raw. And I want to stay raw, don't get me wrong, but I'm a little too raw. So, and this is something I can hold on to. Mm, I love this hoodie. Thanks, mom. Oh my god, I love my mom so much. So much. I don't know if she knows how much I love her. I hope she is watching this. Mommy, when du das anschaust, ich hab dich so, so lieb. Wirklich so lieb. Ich, ich wenn du irgendwas hast, wie ich dir das zeigen kann. Aber ich weiß so, consistent behavior. Because now my words, they're empty. They don't mean anything. Because I'm saying this now. But am I actually like consistently proving that by my actions? And uh, my track record is no <laughs> so you have all the reasons to not trust me i don't even fully trust myself but at least i'm gonna try i'm trying my best so yeah she did the healing session and uh, i can now talk forever about it but it's like it's it's just like it made me feel safe and i could finally i call them clean downloads that I I could receive the downloads in a way that felt good. Before, I was just too open. My psychic was open, split, my third eye wasn't like locked in again. And it was just like, d d d all the time, it was overwhelming me. I, I couldn't hold it. And it was just like vomiting downloads. And, I, I, and then I didn't know where to put myself. I didn't feel safe. I'm like, I go here. Oh, it still feels like sh uh, there is no escape. My psychic is split. Fuck. Ah. Okay, I smoke cigarettes. 
Oh, more chocolate. Mm. What else can I do in the gym? Okay, let's freak out. Rawr. Oh, let's go in the ice bath. Ah, oh, it's still feeling the same. Shit. Oh, so she like really helped me to close my sidekick, my head. Uh, crown my third eye and my third eye into place. Lock it back in. And it's, it's still a process. It's still, it's still like, la, 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 but it's not like. <laughs> so thanks to her. Oh my God. And then, then because in her presence, she could like hold me, hold me. I could receive the downloads in a clean way where, oh my God, I love myself. I love my life theme. I see what's to come now in a way that feels good, where I see one thing after another. And I can use my physical mind to get a download, what's to come, and then, hmm, interesting. Let me think about it. Let me sort it. Ah, this falls in place there or there. Not sure. Hmm, this makes this like a riddle. This is fun. Not just seeing it all and getting vomited and then like, oh, what's the ball? <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna see her next time on Saturday, which is in my reality like in two days, 7 a.m. in the morning. Because like, I, I'm at this point now where it's happening. And now you can call me crazy or whatever, I just, I just know, I know what I know, this is what I know. And my hero's journey is starting and she is my Dumbledore, my Meister Yoda, my Gandalf, whatever you want to call it. You can think I'm totally out of my mind. You can think this is ego again, but it's not. What I mean by hero journey is we're all our own hero of our timeline. We're like the main character. Hello, I'm me, Ferdi. But this doesn't mean like I'm a hero, better than all. No, we're all heroes, however you want to call it. I'm, let's say I'm on my journey. And now it feels so good because I know what I have to do. And I already knew it, but the last days it didn't feel good at all, so I didn't want to do it. Because in this way it sucks. And I don't know if I could hold it. But now that I'm coming back, oh yeah, I can hold it. And it feels better and better. But then it's like hard for me to <coughs> not jump ahead to the juicy part of like, wow, all this, like, you know, what I, I, I talk about it many times. Wow, I jump ahead, but no. Now I, I first need to clean up, going in the basement, turning on the light. Oh my god, it's fucking a mess. Yep, this is not gonna be cleaned up in, in a day. <laughs> this is not gonna be cleaned up in a week. This is gonna... Okay, I get overwhelmed, shit. Okay, Ferdi, one day after another, you don't need to clean up your whole basement in one fucking week. And you can make it fun. You can like listen to music, you can take a break, uh, watch a little s series, watch some Marvel movies, you can still eat some ice cream, and then every day, step by step, you continue cleaning up your closet. Meaning feeling all the emotions of where I hurt people and healing that apologizing to them, showing up for them consistently and actually owning what I've done. Not all at once, oh, overwhelming, overwhelming. One shelf, one corner at a time, every single day. Even if it's some days just a little bit, because right now it's a lot, and this is a lot. Is every day like that? No, no. Some days are less. That's ooh, yeah, that's comforting. Slow is safe. Now all these fucking sayings from Brittany Bond make all the sense. Now they actually now I'm in my body, and now I'm like, oh, now I know what she's always talking about. Slow is safe. Slow is safe. So yeah, I'm committed to her to my elder, to my healer, and I'm gonna show up and she's gonna help me on my journey. And 
many of my alien savages who follow me for a while, you know my live stream. Because I am a flexer. I had such an ego. I was always talking about it. Major prediction. July. Sentient technology is going to be pulled in. And I, I told you everything. And it came mostly from a place because I wanted to flex. That when it comes, I'm like, I already knew. Look at the date. I already knew back then. Ha ha ha. Ugh, ugh, so cringe. Like, why did I use old podcasts to just flex instead of, you know, accepting where I was in the timeline and, and sharing from that place? I, I left you. I left you. I left you behind, and I'm sorry. I was, I was pretending I'm further. And I was further, but not in my body. So I was speaking from this high place. I wasn't reachable. And I made you feel like shit, some of you. And I'm really sorry for that. I, I really hope this makes sense. I don't know how to say it better. Maybe listen to it again. I cannot explain this part. It was like really deep what I just said, but I, I feel like it's all there. You just need to like let it in. <coughs> so yeah, I, I wanna apologize to you. That's what I'm saying. If you follow me for a while, I'm sorry if I made you like feel like shit that Ferdi has everything together. He just gets it. Like why don't I get it? Why? I'm sorry. Following your highest excitement is actually a bitch. It's like balance is a bitch, and following your highest excitement is exactly balance. But it's so hard. It's it's like the hardest thing ever. As humans, we have to accept we're humans. Of course, like Bashar Sasanis, for them, they just like live that shit. <laughs> but we, <laughs> it's so fucking hard. And I was making it sound so easy. And you don't get it. What's wrong with you? Fuck. Like following your highest excitement, being in perfect balance is so hard. Fuck, it's that hard. And it's like we kind of always have to learn it anew because in this level I'm now, I'm getting there to like following my excitement, being in balance, and then I'm on a new level and then I kind of have to relearn it from this new level. It's like it never stops. And it's then also like, oh, this is boring. I want to like get out of balance a bit, but then I get too much out of balance like I did now and I was losing it and then I'm smoking a lot and my throat hurts and my, I have a headache and I'm like, oh, I'm like harming myself, so this also sucks. So yeah, balance is like just where it's at, but it's so hard. And it's also like, it's like a little boring for me because it leads to enlightenment kind of so fast and I'm afraid to reach it. I want to like stretch it out and make it as cool as possible. I want to make the journey, how can I make like staying pretty much in balance, but like there's still leeway with like my free will that I'm in balance following my choice, but how can I make it as swaggity waggy, as cool as hold up, alley oop, boom, backflip, wow, 360 flip, board slide out, boom, Rubik's cube in 30 seconds with one hand, double time, pa pa pa, German rap, let's go, look at this dance move, uh, mm, chicka chicka cha, yeah, what's up, uh, this is what I'm talking about, yeah. Huh, didn't see that coming, huh? Emojis, I'm telling you, emojis are saving the world. Memes are saving the world. And music, this is where it's at. Emojis? <laughs> if you don't spam emojis, what's wrong with you? I love to confuse people also a little by my emojis. And like also the art of it. I love using often three emojis and like what is looking cool together. <laughs> And my favorite right now is the ghetto fist. Because people are like, why is he, is he wanting to punch me? And then they maybe Google it and it's like, oh, it's the ghetto fist. At least this is for me. So if, I, if you get the, the fist, I'm giving you a fist bump. And then the, the chick coming out of the egg, because this is where I'm like, yeah, I'm reaching a new state. stage. I'm like, yeah, I'm coming out of the egg. Yeah, it's so cute. It's like a chick. What's cuter than a little chick? And then the third emoji ah, is a kiss Mwah. on the cheek. Because I always love to use a... Because we are humans, I now accept it. 
I, I, I slow down on the dolphin emojis. I use so many dolphin emojis. I'm in the flow. I'm a shapeshifter. I'm a dolphin. Yay, it's played. The okay, I'm not a dolphin. I'm not a dolphin right now. And I'm happy. I'm happy to be a human. So I'm going a bit slow on the dolphins. I'm still addicted to the dolphin emoji. I uh, fucking love it. It's probably uh, my favorite. And um, the variety is the favorite, but I love the dolphin emoji. Uh, so the third one is the kissing emoji because I'm a human, so I always want to have something where it's like a face. Like, hey, like this creates connection. Like, hey, I'm here. Mwah. Like if it's just hearts or something, it's great. But like, mwah. I'm actually... Mwah. And like the kiss emoji was actually the red kiss. Because some people are like, oh, you're showing real love. I only post this emoji to my girlfriend. And it took me a year to even get there. And I'm like, I don't even know you, but you just sent me a nice message. So I actually give you a mwah, red heart kiss. Where? On your scars. Mwah, I'm kissing your scars. Oh, it feels good that my humor is back. But I know I can. I, I, I already feel that mm, I can also use humor as an escape, you know? So I, I now could keep going like this, but then I'm like hiding something. So it was nice to come out. Haha, <laughs> we talked about emojis. This was fun. Let's have fun. Fun is so important. Don't get me wrong. It's so important, but I, I don't want to like use it to hide something. <sighs> I quit smoking. Woo! <laughs> I'm saying I, I quit smoking. How long did I smoke? For two days. And two days ago it was 15 cigarettes. And the next day my throat hurt like shit. And my head and my whole body was like, what have you done? <laughs> I also love Rich. Like He's so crowned. He so gets it. The, the man who hosted the Aya ceremony. And I was like, Fetty, stop, stop smoking cigarettes. They're full of chemicals. They make you even more ungrounded. Like here, I, I get the 7-Eleven cigarettes, and he's saying, those are shit, they are full of um, chemicals. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I stopped smoking cigarettes. So now I have a new addiction. Like, I'm an addict, and I, I need to get clean, but it's, it's too much, like, it's, it's, it's nicer to, like, vein things down, if that is the word. Like also, like I, I like yesterday evening, I, I ate an ice cream because I, I cannot go cold turkey, if that is the word. Otherwise, I'm really lapping. Uh, my English sucks. No, don't beat yourself down. My English is actually fine. My English is amazing. But don't get an ego now. Your English is good. Here we go. Good enough. No, good. Don't talk yourself down. So, yeah, anyways, my new addiction is this. I don't know if you're watching visually. If not, it's um, these little green boxes you can buy at 7-Eleven or the pharmacy here in Thailand, and you uh, smell on it. Oh, my God, and it's these herbs. <laughs> um, compound herb inhaler. And I got the big one. Like, I got the huge box for 50 baht at the pharmacy. Oh, and I'm like, <laughs> I guess today at the session with my healer, I was smoking on it nonstop and I, I have it in my pocket and I like, it's just nice to have something physical in my head, putting uh, in my hand or my pocket, playing with it. Oh yeah, this is, and this is, I would say, a healthy addiction and it can get me back more and more into balance. Because as I said, I was too much into balance where I was, I was, too mi like taking it all too far like minimalism having less and less stuff and like my desktop everything like there wasn't anything on it there was nothing to do then then I'm like okay but I'm still here and then no like fucking balance so it's so nice right now like here a little Rubik's Cube that Brittany got me on her Japan trip here pulling sentient technology in this reality Fatty is crazy I know having it in my hand oh this like I can touch it or I love lighters. Oh my god, it's so satisfying. I used to hate it that they have this like little wheel because it after a while hurts my finger, but now I love it. It's like how cool. Oh. Yeah, I miss skateboarding. I wanna pick up more hobbies, like three D hobbies, but Kopangan really sucks for skateboarding. So I found a new one, which is slack lining. I'm gonna put off my hoodie, I'm sweating.
Oh, way better. It's all how we feel in the moment. Like, if I would kept the hoodie on, I would be like, let's stop the podcast because it doesn't feel good. But I can just put it off. So at my gym, Xantiva, they have a slackline. And I love it. I actually get really good at slacklining right now. And not just like going back and forth, but also like bouncing on one leg. It's really cool. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm kind of looking for new hobbies that are like 3D. Like something like shooting bow and arrow or something. <laughs> I love snowboarding, but it's obviously also not the place for it. I don't know. Maybe you have some suggestions. Ah, uh, Shakti mat is also great. Laying on a Shakti mat helps me, crowns me. If you don't have a Shakti mat, check it out. It's like all these spikes and you lay on it. And please lay on it for 20 minutes. Just just one time that you actually feel the, the benefits, how good it feels. Because I, I showed it to people and they lay on it for like three minutes. They're like, I don't know. And I'm like, no, no. You lay down now on my Shakti mat. I'm going to put a timer on for 20 minutes. And you go fucking nowhere. You, you can be on your phone, you can have your laptop there, you can watch your series, you can listen to music, but you lay on the Shakti mat and you don't leave until the alarm goes off. And I challenge you here, if you have a Shakti mat, I hold you accountable. 20 fucking minutes. And then you get off and you're like, oh my god, my back. And then you touch your back. And it feels like a baby skin. And you're like, oh my god, this feels great. <laughs> I'm gonna do this more often. <coughs> so yeah, we're, you know, we hold each other accountable here. A permission slip for you. If you have some for me, that's great. And I keep asking you, be nice in the comments, please. I'm an addict, I keep reading them and some of them, they really hurt me. Like, I, I take me a while to shake them off. It takes me a while to shake them off. Because I have so much love and respect for all of you and... Um, yeah, like it would be so nice if you like before you like write something to like feel compassion for me. And that just like telling me what to do and uh, you need to fly back to Munich. How dare you eating animals? It's like, yeah, I know. Thank you for making me feel worse. Thank you. I already feel like shit for uh, that I ate animals. And, and I think I, I'm at a point now where I can stop right now. I ate fish twice and eggs a bunch of times. Eggs I probably still keep and some dairy and junk food. But meat, I only if it's like critical state again. But I'm out of critical state right now, so I absolutely don't eat meat. Do I feel like ashamed and bad for it? Absolutely. A lot, actually. I feel like I let some of my vegan colleagues down. And I'm, I'm... I'm really sorry. Yeah, I'm really sorry. I, ju I just wish like that you would actually see how... like It's not that I'm like... I'm just crazy. Spirituality doesn't exist. Now I'm like actually waking the fuck up. And you can believe whatever you want, but like, this is what I believe. And if you would just like honor it, like, okay, I have compassion. Like, I'm a, I'm a fucking animal too, you know? Like, like, where's the compassion for me? And I'm, I'm not putting myself in the victim role. Like, have compassion for me. I'm just that you actually see I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best and I, like I don't know how, 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 how uh, you, if you know how much your support means to me. Like every day I wake up and your messages, like they, they is what like saved me. They saved me. Uh, so many of you, even if I just reply with emojis, you send me a um, long message or a short message, I'm like, it's it's all energy and it's it's, I can feel you right there. You're like all these anchors. They're like, mm. oh, I can anchor to you. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. That makes sense to stay here. Oh, there's another anchor. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, you hold me. Okay. I, I'm, I think I'm going to stay here. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Oh, you have been there too? Fuck. You were like so amazing. 
and I know I'm I'm actually not that I'm not that brave. I'm not that brave at all. Like I, I go through it now and I have tons of help. And many of you they, they you open up and you didn't have much help at all. And you went through it like what the fuck? I have so much respect for you. Like I if I wouldn't have that help, like I wouldn't be here. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not <coughs> I'm not that brave. <laughs> um like often a little coward. Mm. <laughs> And Harry Potter, like, mm, I, uh, you know, Littlefinger, I understand him. I understand him a lot, actually. Yeah. <coughs> uh, and yeah, like, I, I know now I'm talking myself down a little too much, and that's uh, stop, Ferdy. Stop, 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 stop. You are brave enough, you're powerful, you're worthy. And this, this is enough. You are enough. You don't need to put yourself down. Ah, uh, yeah. Understood, understood, understood. And don't get an ego now from recording a podcast and sharing vulnerably because this is one of your superpowers. Wow, I'm so good at this. I'm sharing how I'm feeling. I get an ego now out of this. Fairly fuck stop. It's great that you're doing this here. It's amazing. But that's it. Like, oh, wow, this is one thing you're good at. But you know how you suck at so many other things where you need so much help? Yeah, exactly. Keep that in fucking mind. When you walk through your day, how much help you need from all the people. And you, like, you fucking suck at so many things. And yeah, sure, I can learn them. But I don't know them right now. Right now I need help. So stop getting an ego about weird things. Or do you want to be back the king of your little box? And then people leave your box because they're like, Bleh. I don't want to like follow you where you're like not seeing me. No, keep seeing people. And I know I speak like a little harsh to me, but I need that because there's this like part of me inside that wants to like come out and ah, <laughs> I forget everything. I brush it away. Like when I did my first family constellation. Oh my God. Like, uh, like one and a half years ago here on the island. I, I disassociated. I was like, I don't believe in this uh, because it was going so deep. And I'm so happy. Anchors were there, like Britney Bond, and she holded it all. And she now makes me remember. And I'm so sorry for my baby that she had to hold our emotional reality for so long alone. She was processing my emotions, her emotions and mine, because I wasn't doing it. Why did she do it? Because she loves me. And now it's my fucking turn to fix myself, get stable enough, and then showing up for her. Because this woman saved my life many times. You don't know. There are so many stories I will eventually tell you where I like almost lost it looking back. And she was holding me in my body. In whatever was needed. At some point I was like, okay, we need to make love right now. And she wasn't even enjoying it so much, but it, I needed to, I wouldn't have stayed here otherwise. And why did she do it? Because she really, she really loves me. And she loves me, you know, like little Ferdy, who I thought is unlovable. But she loves this actually. I'm like, why would you love him? He's so annoying. <laughs> he's so annoying. Like, can you pause him? Can you, like, shut him down? Of course he's fun for a while, but then quickly it... <laughs> so that's why I'm like... Let's take a deep breath. Ah, <sighs> okay, this is it. And now, now is the moment. I can now keep talking, but now I take up too much space. I'm, I'm really thankful for your time. And please only listen to this if you actually get something out of it. If not, then don't. And now, here's the lighter. 
You know what it means? Now it's your turn, turn to share in the comments. Just share how you're feeling. Don't overthink, just share how you're feeling, what you're going through. I read it all. It gives me a lot. Thanks for listening. Until next time, peace out.